Um, I began working in 2002 as the state DMC coordinator um, that's funded with Title II funds. It's a requirement of those fun that funding. I worked with JJDP funding and Native tribes and uh, all of those requirements for, I'm um, going on 18 years, specifically in Title II. So the Title II funding, the pass-through requirement is not a huge amount of funding, but as a state, um, our state advisory group, there, our members are appointed by the governor, um, have always prioritized Native American youth, and we actually pass through a much higher amount. Um, but due to the drop in funding, we have not been able to do large grants, but we do approximately 65,000. We make sure that that's consistent each year um, and then we work closely with tribal entities to make sure they're able to implement programming. So one of the things we do when we do a Title II grant is we don't dictate to them what best practice they do. We say we want something that has support there, but a lot of times it's for them to go to their tribal leaders, their community and say, what is it that our tribe needs? And they, they develop it and they're innovative in their tribe with their needs, if that makes sense. Tribal youth in my work, um, that is a challenge. The tribes that we actually contract with do engage youth, that's what we want them to do. Um, I think it's a full SAG though in the Title II funding requirements. You know, one of the pieces is to have youth voice. And in Oklahoma, we uh, prioritize that and we call them emerging leaders. So right now we're working on a strategy to pull in more youth voice and specifically native youth voice into that conversation. Um, that would include having, we have a, a SAG member who is Native American, but I would like to see a Native youth on that, on that panel as well. My program manager is a phone call away, so I reach out to her a lot. Um, I also, you know, we were just talking and having those resources that were brought in breakouts like we had today at the training that says that there is technical assistance out there that we can support our tribes and, and even our state staff to understand some of the challenges. I think in Oklahoma, one of the things that I'm constantly aware of is that relationship, relationship, relationship. When I go in and I interact with them, I want them to feel like they can approach me, that I'm going to stand by them.